lower body session of my new block. Woo! Yesterday, I got the news that the Stirling Marathon, which was for the beginning of October, has sadly been cancelled. Still no word on the GPC Pro Show, which is the end of September. Um, but as that's at Fit Expo in Liverpool, which will be a very large mass gathering, I'm unsure as to how likely that will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to prep as if that's going ahead and as if I was going to do a marathon. But what I'm going to do instead is a slight tweak to the plan. Now that the marathon's been cancelled, I'm going to make what I'm doing, my concurrent programming, even more concurrent. And instead of having a two week break in between, what I'm going to do is on weekend one in September, I'm either going to do the Fit Expo and the GPC Pro Show, or I'm going to do a mock powerlifting meet anyway. The following weekend, I'm going to do a half marathon and I'm going to shoot for a PB and I'll do that with Dylan, who's another one of my clients who I play rugby with, for the amazing, one leg, hearts and balls. So there's a lot less volume now. I'm only doing three main exercises per session. Mondays is bench and two bench variations. Tuesdays is low bar squat, low bar squat variation, and then a deadlift variation. At the moment that's low bar squat, low bar pin squat, and sumo. Then Wednesdays is still my occluded elbow day. Basically, I just train my arms and get a sweet pump on with the occlusion bands, but it does actually help um, preventing tendonitis of the elbow, which is a common problem for a lot of powerlifters. So I'll take you through that session, probably this week actually. Uh, then Thursday, back onto upper body. So again, two bench variations and a back variation, but usually there's a vertical pressing component in there as well. Then Friday is a deadlifts, conventional deadlifts, conventional deadlift variation, and then a squat variation. Uh, and then I'm doing two Metcons a week. I'm positive my triathlon in August is gonna get canceled. So again, pull the specificity back on that side of things, because now it doesn't look like I'll be doing a triathlon until I'm in Austria 2021. So pull the specificity right back on that only going to be running and cycling once or twice a week. Still going to get out for a swim when I can, but again, frequency, because the nature of the situation is dictated by when I can actually take a hike up to one of the reservoirs and get there with plenty of time and not have it interfere with the rest of what I'm doing. So that's how this block is different. If you made it this far, congratulate. There will be some epic music building as I speak, and we are going to commence a time lapse of my warm up in three, two, one, hit it. phases really. The first phase is like tightness prevention, so anything that's feeling a bit sticky, a bit gunky, I'll be absolutely fine. So then once I've sorted my tightness out and my movement feels good, my movement feels solid, my movement feels smooth and normal, then I'll go into the kind of muscle activation phase and the warm up, the build up of the weight. So today as it squats, I'm going to focus on getting my adductors, my glutes and my core all warmed up and ready to go and then I'm just going to build up on squats to my top set. Um, and so today I've got three by three, somewhere in the kind of 170 to 180 kilos mark. Um, belt was still, the belt will go on when the wraps come on. But yeah, looking forward to it. I'll put you on another time lapse so you can see, have a brief look at what I do, and then I'll check back in with you when I'm on top set.
Boom! Weren't expecting that, were you? Uh, squat's done. Forgot I had four sets, not three. So that was annoying. But 170 for all my sets. Moved well. Um, I think that's some kind of beltless volume PB. So I'd quite like to work that up to 180 for four sets of three, maybe 190 um, before I stick the belt back on. But we'll see, that was good. Pause squats now, actual pause squats as well. Not bounce squats. You know who you are, you know you're guilty. And now I am here, and it is time for sumo deadlifts. So 140, three sets of five on my pause squats. Felt really nice. Just gonna keep adding the weight to that and playing about with tempo on the descent and just basically trying to make sub-maximal weights feel as hard as they can for now. And then as I go through the cycle towards the competition itself or towards the mock meet day, depending on what happens with COVID-19, then the weight the load will actually get intense um, and I'll be going at a sort of competition speed. Um, so yeah, sumo deadlifts now, it's all about getting into a nice position, opening up the hips, and trying to drive as straight up as possible, not getting tipped forward over the bar like you see a lot of people do, and then it just ends up becoming a really wide stance conventional. So I will crack on with this and I shall see you on the other side. I've got three sets of three, I think. I should probably check that, but yeah, I think three sets of three. deadlifts are done so now I am off upstairs to do my conditioning which today is 10 reps of alternating dumbbell snatch with 10 ab mat sit ups and it is just a 10 minute am wrap so off upstairs and away we go go on time Conditioning done. Hello. Um, not about crushing it out at any great speed. Just about keeping moving the whole time, picking movements that I don't do too much of, just to try and get some extra volume in without fatiguing me too much for the rest of my stuff. Now it's a beautiful day, so we are going to go for a walk, aren't we? Yes, we are. I hope you're having a great day. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.